There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked smile. Crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. Hold on. They got bars. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Ooh, finally, things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. They got caught. They got caught and touched by the crooked man. No! What up, gang? This is Ken Zark, Ken Zellig, Zika Millig, and Villa and Trilligan, and we are playing The Crooked Man. I've never seen or played any of the Crooked Man, the, 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 the Man series or whatever it's called. Never seen or played any of them. But, um, you know, my boy Sonny was talking about it before. He didn't tell me to play it, but I just, he was talking about it. So I was like, shoot, let me, I'll go on and play it. Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get to him. I should get it to him if he's still around. That's cool, but why is there a crack in my wall? Why is there a crack in my wall? A box of tissues, we know what that's for. OTV, we know what that's for. Refrigerator, we know what that's for. Sink, we know what that's for. A bed. Night night. All right, coat hanger. Okay, let's see. Nothing in any of these? Nothing important? Oh. You don't want to go, or you, or you just don't need to. Saying I don't want to go, that's just weird. Like, I don't want to go to the bathroom. I don't want to use the toilet. I just recorded some fate earlier, so I don't know. I might be a little out of it, but I just really, I was, I've really been waiting to play this. I've been, I've been eager to. Question mark. What's with this place? Seriously, it's filthy. Practically falling apart. What were you thinking? Oh, he wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Not many places come with furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. Oh, Paul and um Mariana are arguing outside. You're right, I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know, look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. The license can wait, I guess. Dang, man. David, you broke. Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Surely, I don't know who you are. I'll just call it today, bro. I should take it easy my first day in my new place. Man, I'm tired in all sorts of ways. You sleep on your side? I sleep on my face. Okay. Is that a crooked laugh? Hold on. Uh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. Shut your bitch ass up! Knocking on every single door. Yes, who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just, I can hear you from my room even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you shut the fuck up? What are you saying? I wasn't sleeping until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 204, right? No way you'd hear me from there. Uh, damn, you got a point. Sorry for waking you up. My, 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 fault. my fault. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Better get back to sleep. Go downstairs. Nothing to do on the first floor. Shut your nasty ass up, bro. Just do what I tell you to do. Huh? 
Oh, it sounded like it made noise. Oh, what the fuck is that? The faucet is busted. Huh? Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Under the bed? All right, bye. What you mean no reason to go out? There's demons in here. Let's leave. Check the crack. Uh-uh! No! Don't get in bed! Under the bed, huh? What's down there? I didn't mean- I didn't want you to get in bed. I wanted you to look under there. Found something. Scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did a former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. <laughs> Motherfucker. That sound still. Where is it coming from? Give me a break. I need sleep. Bro, shut up. Please, shut up. Daddy call him off. Uh, hello? Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No, I didn't mean just I'm busy with work, so... Yeah, so I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me, okay? Bye. I slept in noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Is the faucet good? All right. Is this room good? All right. Oh, shit. Paul, what is it? Uh, yeah, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Ooh, thanks. You going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Yeah, Paul, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Write on the mirror? What kind of prankster kid do you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Go, nigga. Y'all over here kissing and shit. The fuck? This bitch dying and shit. Mom, it's been a while. Are you okay? <coughs> no, nigga. <coughs> no. <coughs> oh my, if it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. That is not my name. Good. You look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, and I moved into this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too, so when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me, so... Maybe you can visit me sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know. <coughs> <coughs> Mom, I'm, I'm not Timmy. I'm, I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, who the fuck is David? Anyways, oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh, who the fuck are you? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Say something, will you? Ma. Get out. I'll have you thrown out. Somebody. Somebody. There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. Mrs. Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Away with you, demon. Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. 
I would not be able to deal with that shit. I'm not gonna lie. Davy, is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom! Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom, it's me. Remember, Mom? David, leave her now. T leave her today. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. Bring the sedatives. Damn. I wouldn't... The fuck is this nigga? I wouldn't be able to live like that, bro. I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to live with a family member like that. That sounds like torture, man. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yeah, she's forgotten many things. She's also having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks, I hope you can help her. Stop kissing and shit. Move, nigga. Can I go down here? Sorry for yelling at you. Would you like some pipe? Sorry for yelling at you, dear. Would you like some cock? Hell no. Nah. The fuck was that? Oh, here we go. Did I move that chair? Something in a drawer. A leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old, huh? These... LLM courses are circle. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? Guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a lot of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Stop calling my phone. Hello? Hey, David, how are you doing? Oh, fuck you. Good, good. Call me if you're ever lonely, okay? I can come visit with Paul. I'm gonna come visit with Paul. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. See ya. Who the fuck is Shirley? That's your ex? I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Hell no. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Oh, it says a sink. Hold on. I can't swim, so. Hold on. What the hell? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Oh, you fucker. You fucker. You fucker. A sink. Scrap of paper under here. A crooked man, crooked smile, walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked siphon with the under a crooked um, on a crooked style. He brought a crooked cat and caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Bars. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. At this point, bro, so much strange stuff. I just go to sleep and forget about it. I don't know about that. You see, a young fella like me. I would get the fuck out the house. Moving for a change of pace, huh? It's just not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marianne's help, but... This nigga, this nigga still crying. Is that a kid I hear? It's late at night. What kid would live in these beat up apartments? Maybe one that lives with their fucking parents. And can't choose where they stay. Dumbass question. Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Of course, there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Might be. Shit. Shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit.
They broke. Why y'all breaking my stuff? Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. Coffee spelling out. Oh, you gotta be. This room is really, really strange. With the voices, the TV turning on. What the fuck is going on? Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Yeah, I, I was up all last night. I, I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? It seems like you forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady. Sure. L later. Landlady's on the far end of the first floor. Bro, we got... This house used to belong to a demon, bro. Used to belong to one of Satan's minions. Gonna knock on that door. Knock on that door. Knock on that door. Another crack in the wall. Okay. Please help me. Landlady, help. Hello. Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. Uh, I just wanted to ask you something, you see. About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Mm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? Mm, I believe he was a man about your age. Mm, he suddenly lived about a month ago. Mm, said to leave the furniture and use it. However, you wouldn't know where he went. Oh, I never heard that. No, really just up and left out the blue. Oh, I can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find previous tenants if you'd like. No, there's no. You better tell her to do it. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty, sorry I wasn't very useful. You old bitch. Old hag. A man about my age. Can only wonder what he was like. I'll get back to my room. I want to disturb the neighbors. I want to disturb the neighbors. I want to disturb the neighbors. Fuck no. Get the fuck out. You just gonna walk. You just gonna walk right into shit. Like, not a fucking care in the world. Oh, hell no. I skipped that by accident. Is there something in this crack? A brass key. She's pretty fancy. I doubt it's in for anything in here, so I wonder where. The guy's voice, the kid's voices. The mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. It's like a poltergeist or something. What would the, what, but I would have the land, I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care much if there were ghosts here. Nobody be too bothered if they haunt, nobody be too bothered if they haunted and killed me either. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen to him when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. You need to get the fuck out of there. This motherfucker might not be the, the sharpest tool in the shed. He might not be the the brightest light bulb. Not the smartest individual. What? It's that damn phone. Well, there's noise coming from. Is it in, from inside the house? I thought it was going to be the computer or something. What the hell is that? Oh, it's in there. Radio. What? Why is this in my closet? Not to mention it turning on by itself. Yeah, shut that shit up. Something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? I'm waiting for you? What? What? How? When? Wow. Ah! It's about time you used your brain and got out of there.
so you sleep well last night? Sorry I had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. No particularly reason. I just... Maybe I just felt like uh, in intruding into the newlywed love nest. Hey, why you? Just kidding, just kidding. Fucking hell. Seriously, though, you can tell me if something happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. I'm, I'm just glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. You making fun of me? Yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not her fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you've got your, I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. I'll be careful. So I'm going on a little trip. Uh, don't don't want to waste my vacation, you know? Good idea. Where you going? J uh, just, just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll, I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. No, nah, don't do that shit. Breakfast is ready. Paul. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, would you be eating too? No, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. It's too bad. Come by anytime you like. I'm trying to beat out. Shut shut shut, shut, shut that shit up. I'm trying to beat out one friend that like, like, I forgot the joke. Never mind. There. Looks like the address is in the mountains. About a five hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? Just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Dang, you got that shit cleaned up quick. But you ain't clean up the shit on the floor. All right. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stay in this place anyway. They got blood on the walls and shit on the floor. Prologue, David's room. End. How long is this damn game? That was 20 minutes, okay.